Hi, today we will see how to use, uh, how to solve the alternating, alternating fatigue in some fact. So firstly, what is alternating fatigue is like when the stress versus time is like each cycle is like some positive value of stress and in the next cycle it is, sorry, in the minimum value is negative uh, value of that stress, like positive negative it is like that, then we can say it is a alternating fatigue, alternating cycle. Fatigue cycle. So we need to calculate the life, and then I have solved like just two both cases. Uh, one I am fixing it here, and this is both steel material, and fixing it here, and here I am pushing this, and here I am pulling this. So, and also this will be scaled to 50 to show you the animation. The stresses are of the level of 800 MPa as I am using the. Uh, I am using linear material properties and why the stress is same as I am using my surface stress. So my surface stress is always positive. So I am getting all of this is tensile in nature and this is compression in nature. Okay. So I am using this session and then I am using here this files. So firstly I will use this load this IMP file so it has having node element called 1000 and groups as it is a single component you can just define on uh, stress data you can use upper lower upper stress you can use uh, this one so it is having uh, 830 800 mp of positive stresses and you can use its factor also but uh, factor currently i'm not using it we can use the factor and we maybe in the upcoming videos we will discuss this factor okay and lower you can use this nag load so nag load is minus something minus 800 material and defining one steel material which is having ups of 340 let me Okay, and then I'm using load spectra. Just create one new load spectra. Just I want to run it for one cycle and see the what uh, I run it for one cycle and see the how many cycles it will undergo for the damage for the crack initiation characteristics just put all and I am defining this is steel and I am as it is a machine component so I am defining a smooth 60 and micrometers surface reference I am switching it on and as in using I am using linear material properties so I am using mean plus amplitude unfavorable sequencing effect technological side means we can switch it on just we can switch it on and then damage will be my modified analysis factor i want to calculate for all all elements which is having less than this strip the output you can select hyper mass result that i want to use it in hyper view and uh, let me from hyper view also okay then i will just go to analyze all and check input data Check input data. It will show you the uh, the amplitude stresses and mean stresses, whatever calculated after using class option. Click on analyze. So once analysis is done, let me open this. Uh, sorry, let me open DTMA file. And here I will open the IMP file. Let it open. Okay, model does not exist. Model is the IMP file. Here it is. This is the DMM file. Here it is. Okay, let it open. Okay, so we will plot this. Damage one by damage is nothing but the fatigue life. So as you can see that uh, I need to uh, reverse the scale to see properly 
so the red zone is the most critical zone uh, because minimum fatigue life we are all interested in you can use this dynamic tool and you can see that uh, I will go to scientific mark yeah so minimum cycles I am getting is this node it is 4.23 uh, input 10 power 4 which is nothing but uh, 42,300 yes Forty-two thousand three hundred. Yes. So this is how uh, you can calculate the alternative fatigue. Thank you.